shit guys hi my name is adora andrea and welcome back to my channel okay so i'm really excited because i was able to get my hands on rihanna's new beauty line um fenty beauty by rihanna okay okay so let me tell you how i bought my things i bought my complexion things at sephora over by my university and then i bought the rest of the collection online and as it dropped like literally 3 a.m in the morning i was up on my phone scrolling right so it finally came in yesterday and I'm so excited I'm about to do this review. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't see this box literally looks so damn pretty. I just don't even want to ruin it. Like look at all this shit. Like fuck. Okay, so I want to start off with the packaging. Um, I was kind of disappointed when I saw like this bland ass box like closed like this. I was like, okay, like whatever. And then I opened it and saw like Fenty written on it like this and all the print inside. I was like, she's done it. She's fucking done it. And honestly, this box literally screams Brianna. So this definitely, like if her name wasn't on this box, I wouldn't, I would know it was her just because this is her style. Like the edgy, black and white, simple look. The things that I got, I got um, her foundation. It's the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. And... On the website, it said that her foundations are like liquidy matte, and that's an ingredient for me because I usually don't go for matte. But um, I'm about to. Oh, I can't open that. I can't open it. So I'm about to open it. I don't want to ruin the box. It's just so pretty. Okay, so on the side of the box, it says medium to full coverage for all long wear, light as air. That's cute. Okay, long wear, light as air. Okay, so off the bat, the foundation looks like the. Packaging is very very sleek and simple. I'm I feel so good to your hands. I don't know like this is really just screens class to me and that's something that I'm really big on so um, 10 points for you bitch. The next thing I got was the um, Match stick trio and it says conceal contour and highlight and I got mine in the shade tan like the trios in the shade tan and the colors are caramel truffle and rum I'm gonna open that up. Okay, so the fact that these are magnetic, okay, this is so cute to me. I mean, I wouldn't lose them in general, but just the fact that they all come together like this, definition of a trio, like she's really outdoing herself. Packaging again is very sleek and it's matte and I really like that. Okay, so now like this is what I got from her website. Um, again, the packaging, beautiful very sleek and clean i don't want to rip this so bad okay and i got three things i got um the only lip color that she got was the universal bomb does it have a name okay the name is um fenty glow i got that okay right here okay um i also got um the kilowatt freestyle highlighter duo and i got mine in lightning dust and fire crystal this is literally my first impression of everything i made sure that i waited to do this so that y'all could see my raw 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 oh my god my camera's gonna die oh my god it's gonna kill me how do i oh okay i'm having trouble opening this Oh, I'm just, I'm just dumb. Okay, so it came with a, like, like a clear covering on it. And this, okay, can you see it? Those are the highlighting shades. Okay, I'm really fucking with it. One is, one is definitely more shimmery than the other. I think it's the Fire Crystal. Yeah, Fire Crystal is way more shimmery than the other one. And the other one is Lightning Dust. And the last thing that I got, okay. Okay, so everyone has been raving about this. Um, I got her Kilowatt Highlighter in Trophy Wife. Okay, that shimmering gold that you've been seeing all over social media. Yeah, girl, I got it. And this is what it looks like. Oh my God, am I gonna scream? I won't scream, I won't scream, I won't scream. Why can't I open it? Am I dumb? 
Here is this highlighter and trophy wipe. Now I'm going to start applying the products to my face. I'm super excited. So in the Fenty Beauty line, Rihanna did launch a face primer, but you know we're broke boys out here and I did not get the face primer. So I'm just going to be using my um, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just to prime my face for her foundation. So for my foundation color, I actually got it in the number or shade 390. Okay, and the bottle says shake well, so here I go. I'm really scared to use this. This better turn out nice. I'm just gonna be really mad. I'm gonna go straight back to Sephora and turn this shit if it's bad. So a lot of people have recommended that you should use a brush to apply this foundation, but I'm a broke boy and she did not want brushes and I didn't buy that. So I'm just gonna use this wet and wild foundation brush to apply it. Okay, right off the bat, it's super liquidy, which is very, very much out of my comfort zone. Wow, did I even get the right color? <laughs> That's the first fucking question. It has a very, like, nice natural finish to it. So I'm just going to put this thing, oh, the whole world just wants to call me. So I'm just going to put this foundation on the rest of my face. This just looks really orangey to me. I don't know how I'm feeling about it just yet. It's looking good on the camera. In person, I don't really know. I feel like I look crazy, but we'll see. It's extremely warm, and I guess that can be really kind of bad for those who have like neutral skin tones or like different types of undertones. Okay, how are we looking? Okay, this is looking really nice in the camera. Okay, Rihanna, I see you, sis. I see you. I just need to work the product onto my forehead. This is definitely a medium coverage foundation. And it's drying hella matte. But it's not matte where like my skin feels dry. It's matte where like I'm comfortable. It's like natural. Okay, the foundation kind of has like a kind of old woman smell. I don't know if that matters, but... It is fragranced. For some people, that can be kind of irritating to their skin. Um, definitely for sensitive skin people, that's not really ideal. So my thoughts on this foundation so far, I feel like it has a very, very natural look to it. Like I can still move my face. Um, the color per se, I don't really know how I'm feeling about it. Maybe it'll turn out better as I add the rest of the things. Um, the foundation does have a fragrance, um, that can be bad for some people that do have sensitive skin. Like I know, I know some people that have super sensitive skin and they can't use anything with fragrance. And this foundation does have fragrance. But, um, for the most part, I'm really liking the finish so far. So, let's go ahead and try the matchsticks. So, the under eye color that I have is in the color, um, caramel, okay? And I'm just going to focus that underneath my eyes and place I usually highlight my face. Can you, can you even see it? I feel like I have to press hard. Is it working? Okay, it's working. It's just very natural. Like it's not super highlighted because usually I have my under eyes pretty bright. But this is definitely more of a natural under eye okay 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 so to blend out the under eye concealer I'm going to be using my beauty blender to do that So it blends out really, really nicely, okay. That looks very natural. Huh. Huh. Okay. 
I'm definitely not having a hard time blending this out. And I actually, I mean, I cut this part out, but like I left the room to go and put water in my beauty blender while I still had the contour, the, not con contour. So I left the room to go and put water on my beauty blender. And usually like it takes um, some products, like they start to get tacky after a couple like minutes of staying on the face. This is not tacky at all. It's still very blendable. Okay. It's looking very natural. Ooh, natural goddess vibes or what? Wow, and I was really apprehensive of getting this. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to, but I was like, no girl, get it. And I got it. Okay, okay. Rihanna bitch, what honey? Okay. I'm really liking this. This looks very natural and it's not too like highlighted under my eyes. It's very fresh, very... Honestly, this is honestly the kind of look that Rihanna would wear. She doesn't really do heavy makeup. She does very natural, light, simple, minimal. And this looks minimal, even though this is like half of a full face. Okay, so now I'm going to do my contour. I'm going to be taking the shade Truffle. Okay, Truffle from the Mix Mat. Wait, Truffle from the Matchstick Collection and do my contour. Um, I'm actually going to be using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush to blend that out. Okay, I'm kind of scared. I don't really know if this is the brush that's making it look like this. It's not really blending very well up here. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> oh, yes it is. Okay, so as far as this contour goes, I'm really, really liking the color. Um, it's very natural, and I'm definitely getting goddess vibes. Not harsh. It's very warm, and it was very blendable. That's something I really, really like. I don't like having a hard time blending because I'm crap at it, and it wasn't bad. Wow, I didn't put any powder on. Okay, so she did come out with like blotting powders but I didn't get that. So I'm just going to use, where's Laura at? There she is. See, I knew, I knew I didn't forget Laura at home. Here she is. Okay, so now I'm just going to take um, my beauty blender just to set places that I put powder. So look right here. Okay, now I'm quickly going to brush it off because I just needed to set those areas. The next thing I'm going to try in her Mix It collection is the highlighter in the color Rum. And I don't really want to like drag it across my face like this, so I'm just going to take some on my like my middle finger and like dot it into my skin. Ooh, are you seeing that? See, this is looking really natural. And on my nose, wow, look at that, look at that. And then I usually like to put highlighter right there. And then on the other side as well. Mmm. Okay, this is actually, hold on, let me be extra. Let me be extra, baby. Hold on. Oh, yes. Who is she? Who is she? So this is definitely something I would do for everyday wear. Like this look right here is very nice, simple, soft. Oh, and this is what is up. Okay, now I'm gonna be extra though, and I'm going to take the infamous Trophy Wife, okay? And I'm going to highlight, add that to my highlight area. Okay, so. 
This is like super pigmented, I've been told, and I've watched reviews. And I'm really. not real life hold on yo yo wow did you see that have I ever glowed like that before hold on hold on okay the other side who the fuck are you Who are you, bitch? Who are you? Who is that bitch? What, Rihanna? Out here killing niggas? Oh, bitch, hold on. Hold on. Oh, Lord God, what? Bitch, you really outdid yourself. You really fucking outdid yourself. Wow. Wow. Get out. Who is this? Who is, oh my God. So for starters, this highlighter is extremely pigmented. Used with caution. Um. Wow, I'm looking like some sort of like, babe, like, like, I can't do this. I can't be living any longer because I am deceased. This highlighter has deceased me. I'm glowing to the gods. Damn. No, 10 out of 10 recommend this. Please get it, please get it. This is so worth it. And plus it comes in a compact case, so this could last you forever. And it's not powdery either, like I barely swept my brush onto the highlighter and I got all this product for my entire face. Wow. Okay, so now I'm going to try out her lip gloss. It is in Fenty Glow. Okay, I really, really like the packaging for this lip gloss. It smells like... I think it's watermelon. You know like when you smell stuff and you like hold your breath in to like really like get it all for your nose? I just did. Definitely smells like watermelon. Okay, let's see how this is looking. First things first, this lip gloss literally smells like watermelon, okay? It smells so good. Um, it has like a pinkish, ooh. Oh well. Okay, so it has a pinkish tint to the lips and it's very, like it's a gloss obviously. And I'm a gloss girl so I was like, eh, I'm not really into lipsticks. This is definitely me and that honestly just brings together the entire like natural look that she has going for her entire collection. Okay, so I really feel like going to put on lashes, doing an eye look. So I will be right back. I will go do that. And after I'm done, I will come back and I will do a big summary overall review of everything that I've tried. So this is the final look. Okay, now that I put my eyes, all my lashes, all the Rihanna shit I could buy. Now I'm going to do a final overview on everything that I use in Rihanna's beauty line. Okay, so... The foundation, okay. Um, like I said in the beginning, I really, really like the packaging. The color is very cute. It's very sleek. Um, the foundation seemed a little orange in my face, but I feel like it's oxidized, so it looks more like my skin tone. And I think it's funny that the foundation is called like Pro Filter Foundation simply because I feel like there is an actual filter on my face. Like, girl, what? Pimples, who? Dark marks wear. I honestly give this foundation a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it, okay? It's very, very natural and soft, and literally, I'm in love with my face. This is so pretty. It's probably gonna be like my everyday makeup. I don't wanna say everyday makeup, but you know, this is, gonna, this is really, really up there in my list of foundations. So now with the mix sticks, they are very creamy and they're very velvety. They blend in beautifully with the skin. Like I said before, 
they have a very natural finish um the contour gave me a little bit of trouble over in like my area of here but overall i feel like i was able to blend that well but it took me a while to really work that into my skin um the concealer beautiful i'm not really sure if the concealer was really meant to cover up your under eyes but it definitely brightened up my under eyes just a little bit not as much as i would want it to not as much as i like it to but it definitely did um trum rum right here girl 10 to 10 okay she was looking flawless she was really doing her thing out here rihanna you did that with rum um yeah and i like how they're all magnetic like you see how they all like come together like this i think that is so cute that's definitely something i like about these matchsticks and the best part about it is the matchsticks come in a variety of colors i'm pretty sure that there are three matchstick trios and i got the one in tan this is definitely something that I feel worked for my skin. And like I said before, make sure you actually go into the store and check for your foundation color, concealer color, all that stuff. I did not buy these online. I bought these in the store, but the other things I bought online. So this Kilowatt Duo, I did not use this in the tutorial, but from the swatches, they definitely are very pigmented as something for very like light and like everyday wear if you're not gonna be extra like I always am the lip gloss like i'm a lip gloss bitch so this lip gloss is to die for it smells amazing and it's very very neutral and it adds a little bit of color to the lip which is something i'm actually not used to i usually go for like a clear gloss like this but the little color on my lip literally adds like a like a like a youthfulness like i don't know what to say like it really like adds to the whole look and also what i've noticed about this lip gloss is actually a little bit like shimmery there's some sort of like glitter spec pigments in it that also makes it look really sexy and these are probably kissable too girl like i'm not gonna go eat these but you know whoever i'm kissing next with this lip gloss y'all about to get it so the last thing i want to talk about girl 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 is trophy wife do you see her like do you see her she really acting up right now like oh my god trophy wife is definitely something i would recommend for any and everybody it's honestly a little bit overwhelming i'm not going to lie to you you definitely want to make sure you tap your brush lightly into this or else you will be a gold ghost so honestly rihanna you did that shit bitch um you're really fucking it up out here um your line the uh, things i've tried are amazing i can't wait for the rest of the things that you want to come out with later in the future because you can definitely have my coins honey all right and that is the end of my review thank you so so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye